Today we'll be taking a look at Solana's Solcoin, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect Solana to go in the near future. Let's get into it. How's it going guys? Ryan here and welcome back to another crypto video. We're taking another look at Solana today and after the absolute massive hit we've seen on the crypto space over the past week or so, Solana is one of the coins which does appear to be bouncing back. So I'm very excited to take a look today. But before we get into all that good stuff, guys, please remember to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy today's video. And of course, if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. We cover crypto stocks, investing and wealth management. I'd also love to know your thoughts on Solana down in the comments section below. But without any further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Welcome into the Solana chart guys, if you're looking to buy Solana or want some free Bitcoin, there are a couple of links down in the description of today's video. But taking a look at Solana right now, I've left up the analysis from the last time we took a look. And as you can see, a bit of a flag pattern was forming and in fact, it does look like that flag pattern had broken, but obviously the overall crypto market took a big hit with Bitcoin dipping a few days after and as a result, this meant that Solana with every other crypto went down with it. But what is interesting to see is Solana is one of the coins which has actually bounced back. It went down to a low of $186, but it is now bounced back to $217 where we see it sitting right now. Interestingly enough, as we did predict, the 50 day moving average and the 20 day moving average have acted as key points. So you can see on the 18th and the 19th of November, we bounced off that 50 day moving average. At that time, it was sitting at about 193. And you can see then we went up to where we're basically sitting today, which was at the 20 day moving average, which is now acting as a major point of resistance for us. That is now sitting at $232. You can see when that was breached, we did have a decent red candle followed by a couple more obviously, but we have managed to bounce back. And interestingly enough, we have bounced back into this channel that we originally had in place. So looking absolutely great from that perspective, you can see that channel we have also bounced off as well. So overall, not looking too shabby for Solana. Realistically, when you take everything into consideration here, yes, we did have a bit of a dip, but as you can see, we're basically still very, very close to all-time highs. So our all-time highs, obviously $260, which occurred earlier this month, and we're not far off. So honestly, not too much stress needs to occur from this perspective. Now, Obviously, what we want to see is a good bounce, but the key point we need to breach now is this 20 day moving average. We need to see the price move back above that point. Now, quite simply, I'm going to get rid of the flag pattern that we had formed right here, of course. Uh, let's get rid of that one there. And we'll need to basically start establishing a new trend. Now, overall, what can we see is happening within this sort of space of a week that has occurred? It's almost potentially a cup that is formed in that sort of a sense. And maybe we'll see a bit of a candle or a handle rather, <laughs> not a candle. I'm hoping what we see is, you know, the cups formed, we bounce off this point of resistance here at the 20 day moving average and we see the price action consolidate down to our key support point here at $215 before we see a breakout occur and the price of Solana jumping upwards. So that is really what we are looking for at this point in time. Will it occur? Who knows? It is still to be seen. And you can see really we're sitting at the bottom point now of that sort of consolidation range. So hopefully within the next 24 hours, we definitely do see the $215 mark actually hold up overall. Keeping in mind 200 day moving average, seeing at $99, nothing too interesting from there, but it's probably worth just take into consideration what is our next horizontal level of support. I'd suggest it's probably about here, once again at the 195, 196 mark. Plenty of price action has occurred in the past, back in September, and we've seen plenty of price action here in October as well. And we basically bounced off that point 
a few days ago as well. So that's probably where we'd be dropping to. We got that 50 day moving average hovering right around that area as well. Major point of support for us. So just keep those figures in the back of your mind. Let's bring in a few more indicators now. MACD, always a great one to look at. And you can see we've been red for quite some time now. We have seen that the cross did occur of the 12 day going below the 26 day. EMA, I did mention this was not looking ideal and it does look like that eventually came into its own. With the overall crypto market going down, plus this indicator as well, it is always quite a reliable one to show that yes, we are going to start dipping. However big that is, that is remaining to be known depending when you're looking at the MACD, at what point in time. But overall, it is looking like now we could hopefully be seeing some recovery. If we see a few more days like this, where we've had a bit of a bounce, even if it starts you know, moving horizontally along our current channel, that would mean that these red bars start declining and hopefully we do see that 12 day EMA cross back above that 26 day indicating a reversal in the current state of price action. So overall, MACD not looking too bad. It is now on the up. So in a few days, hopefully within the next week or so, we will see that go green and positive once again. You can see the periods that we have of this aren't significantly long. Our green period was probably the longest green period there. And you know, we had some more green periods. We've had a few runs. We're overdue for a bit of pullback. So it's all good looking from that perspective. Let's of course as well, just finally bring in our relative strength index. We are sitting smack bang in the middle, 49.46. Plenty of room for us to move up, but of course guys, plenty of room for us to dip as well. But if we are hoping to see, you know, a major increase in value in order to make sure we're holding these key support points, there is plenty of buying room right there. And interestingly enough, when we do look at the price action, you can see that even on these red days, we're not seeing massive spikes in volume. So there's not big sell-offs or anything like that occurring. In fact, it's just pretty standard price action. If anything, it looks like it is still declining overall from a long-term perspective. So looking good from that point of view as well. What would my price target for today's video be? Well, quite simply, the moving average here, 232. I wanna see that hit, I wanna see it breached, and then go back for the all-time highs once again. To be honest, I'd be happy to see Solana trade in this sort of a range, much like that for a period of time, to build up, form a solid foundation and base for the next run of this coin. That wraps up today's analysis, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Do you think Solana is going to be able to hold those key points of support, break through that 20-day moving average and start moving upwards? Let me know down below. And of course, if you did enjoy today's video, leave a like, hit subscribe, and obviously turn on those bell notifications for more of this sort of content. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.